Hey everyone, Daniel Vadnall Fitness FAQs. The bicep push-up. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it something that you should be doing? I'm gonna be covering the pros, the cons, the good and the bad points of this exercise. And I wanna have a discussion, if you will, a debate about this exercise. Let's go. I believe the main issue that we're having here is a argument of nomenclature, exercise name, the size versus strength discussion, as well as context. All right, let's start off with the good parts about the biceps push-up, which is formally known as the pseudo planche push-up in the calisthenics community. To start with, no one has ever said that a push-up is the most effective muscle building exercise for bigger biceps. The push-up itself is merely a vessel by which to train the stabilization component of the bicep. Let's take a look at what I mean. We're ticking a box straight away of being in weight bearing position, which is functionally relevant for building effective strength and for calisthenics. Step number two is we're stressing that straight arm component and especially specific to the exercise, we're in forearm supination and external rotation at the shoulder. How is that relevant? So most of the high end strength movements that we're trying to progress towards, if we want to master our body, involves those parameters. Think about things like planches, back levers, we're weight bearing, we're in a straight arm position and we're in supination and external rotation at the shoulders as well as being in a straight arm position. So that in itself is why this specific exercise is very useful for strengthening the biceps in its stabilization role. In terms of the different functions of the bicep, we all know the main one, it's an elbow flexor, but it also does supination. And number three, it's a shoulder flexor, which is important for the bicep push-up. One of the criticisms of the exercise is that you're going from a shoulder extended position to a slightly less extended position, which is shoulder flexion. The criticism is that it's better to get the biceps working from anatomical neutral up through range. But that position is what makes the bicep push-up so effective because if you're doing the exercise correctly and you're maintaining that forward lean, your body is in such a mechanically disadvantageous position that when you're coming up, the bicep is working tremendously hard to lock out in that straight position, acting as a stabilizer. It's perfect for creating a ton of tension in the bicep at that peak straight arm contracted position. Phenomenal for building bulletproof tendons, ligaments, and other passive structures, and really developing that bicep resilience against injury in a straight arm lockout position, plus or minus around 10 degrees from that lockout, which is what we know is the position most likely for injury. If we're doing our bicep push-ups and we're just going like this in a very vertical fashion, of course, you're not going to be stimulating the bicep as a stabilizer because you're just doing a traditional vertical push up, which is going to train the prime movers in the chest, shoulders, and triceps. The magic of this exercise happens when you are maintaining a forward lean throughout the full range of motion, and the real magic happens at the top, at the lockout. I'm pushing very forcefully that elbow straight and my bicep is stabilizing the hell out of my body if I am leaning forward like this. Of course, if you're here, look, gravity is just down, your joints are stacked, your triceps contracting, the biceps doing minimal stabilization. You put that bad boy here whew, and you do it properly, good luck telling me that doesn't stimulate the bicep as a stabilizer for strength. With a bicep push-up, is this an exercise that's dangerous? Is it gonna do you harm? And are you gonna injure your wrist by doing this exercise? Well, it depends. With this movement, it's got varying degrees of difficulty and intensity. So if you're starting in this amount of supination, 
it's going to be a lot easier than going to a fully supinated position. It's on you to choose a degree of difficulty that your body can tolerate and is capable of doing. If you do that, you shouldn't really run into any harm or injury if it's agreeable with your body. But if you're finding it a little bit uncomfortable still, there's always workarounds to make an exercise accommodating. One of the options that you have is with push-up handles or parallettes. So what you can do is you can do degree of supination with the thumbs facing forward. And over time, you can get more aggressive with it by going into a fully supinated position. Why are parallettes and push-up handles accommodating for this exercise? Well, it puts you in this position of wrist extension. So you've got more breathing room on the wrist complex because the fingers aren't flat and the wrist isn't fully extended. What I wanted to talk about with this exercise is just a concept called nocebo. So a lot of health professionals or just people commenting on exercise like this are doing people harm. So what I mean by that is if we tell people you can't do an exercise because you're going to hurt yourself without any information regarding context, the person's history, that is just doing a disservice to people at large. As health professionals, as people training hard, we should be telling other people that your body is strong, resilient, capable of change and adaptation if you're sensible and smart with your progress, if you do your homework, so to speak, with your joint preparation. It's crazy what your body can achieve. Look at the changes you can make in terms of muscle mass, in terms of strength. Your tendons, ligaments and muscles are no different. They have a high capacity for adaptation. What I encourage you to do is empower other people, strengthen their resolve, what they can do and how they can change their body. Not this fear, this disbelief of making people feel weak and scared of constantly injuring themselves. Let's talk about when a bicep injury is the most common. Think about what you've seen online. When does a bicep tear happen? Deadlifts? people doing very heavy preacher curls, people doing planches. When does this happen? It happens in a locked out position. This is when the bicep is in an elongated or stretch position and the body is demanding muscular tension for the bicep to generate, which it can't handle, and injury results. So for people that are looking to bulletproof their body, who are involved in doing exercise like back levers, planches, and anything that stresses that straight arm component, should be involving themselves in conditioning of that elbow complex. You're not going to get stronger unless you progressively expose the body to adapting through challenging circumstances. We need to raise the plastic limit of our tendons, especially in the biceps, to prevent ourselves from getting injured, to prevent ourselves from having pain during straight arm movements. The only way to do that is progressively overloading, progressive adaptation over time, and exposing ourselves to mechanically disadvantageous exercises and positions, such as the bicep push-up, to get ourselves strong and to get ourselves robust. I think it's safe to say something we all agree on is that if you wanna build bigger biceps, you need to use a full range of motion going through elbow flexion. So you need a concentric component. You need an isometric pause at the top and that important elongation phase of the bicep for building muscle. Of course, we need to look big picture. Most of your training should be on compound exercises taking that bicep through range. Pull-ups, chin-ups, rows. Those are the movements that are going to give you the biggest return because of the progressive overload capacity. Of course, if you wanna sprinkle in some hypertrophy, go ahead and do that. Pick your poison with weights, with your body weight. It doesn't matter, curl. It's gonna help you with those isolation gains. Sweet everyone, hopefully this gives you my perspective on the bicep push-up discussion. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section. By having a debate, by talking about ideas, this is how we grow, this is how we evolve, this is how we learn. 
The name of the game is getting stronger and becoming the best that we can. That's what we're all about. So go ahead, have a chat in the comment section. I want everyone to stay healthy. I want everyone to stay strong. And I'll see you very soon on Fitness FAQs.